everyone, it's Terry with uh, the Covered Chipboard, and I'm here today with my first um, weapon chat um, on my YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me. If you um, are not familiar with me, I'm normally associated with miniatures and paper crafts and cricket, but um, I've recently ventured off and started doing diamond paintings, just as a, a side craft that I enjoy. So today I'm going to start, I've just started this uh, Yin Yang Dragons from Diamond Art Club. Hopefully you're not getting a lot of glare there. Um, this is a little sheet that comes in the kit and um, it has, it's 42 by 58. It's a round diamond shape and it has 29 colors in it. And also, while we're here doing this, I want to show you a new tool that I picked up. So this is what the project looks like when it's finished. And I don't know how many of these it will take to um, get through the whole entire project. As you can see, I've done quite a bit already. Um, I'll turn this light off so you can see it better. But um, I've done quite a bit and I'm on this other section. I picked up these sheets, which are like um, they're like four by six sheets. I think uh, there's a size that's just maybe a half an inch bigger than this, and you get a hundred sheets in a package on Amazon for ten ninety nine. I'll put a link to the product um, at the in the description box below. But um, I've sectioned this off. It's quite a big canvas, as you can see. So what I've done is I've sectioned it off into four rows of four sections each. And when I work, I'll work one section at a time. So I've already completed these four sections on the first row and one section, a little bit over one section um, on the second row. So um, let me get this out of the way, turn my light back on. Um, this is the next section that we're going to be working on today. And I picked up this tool, which I love. It's, uh, hopefully you can see that, the little holes, the little circular holes. It's a stainless steel ruler. It's very flimsy. And um, this is so that you place this on your canvas and then you can stick your dots down in these little holes and it keeps your diamonds all straight. And I apologize if I sound all stuffed up allergies again today. So to use it, you want to line this little piece right here at the bottom, line that up with your existing row of diamonds. And then the side also has indentations on it for the sides of the diamonds. So since I already have that one row, I'm gonna line it up that way, and then line it up this way, and make sure it's snug up against this last row of diamonds I completed, and then lay it down, and this part adheres to your canvas. Now, I've heard some people say that um, it doesn't fit their canvas. <laughs> Well, sometimes you need to use it horizontally. Sometimes you need to use it vertically. It all just depends on your canvas, who it came from, and how it was set up. So here's how you use it. I'm just going to grab some white. To use, to show you. So you simply look for the hole, place your diamond in the hole. Sometimes you'll hear a little snap when you do it. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Like that. There's a little snap. Sometimes you'll hear that, sometimes you won't. It does work better, I think, if you hold your pen straight up. Let me get some more light over here. Hopefully we won't get a, a glare. <clears throat> so sometimes it will click, sometimes it won't. After you get a few of these in, 
the ruler may start lifting up on the edge. I think I need some more tacky. I get some more in here. And if it does, then just, just kind of hold it down with your finger a little bit. But I did, I want to say this whole section over here, I did last night. And I think I go faster this way because you don't really have to stop and, you know, measure or be extremely careful where you place the diamond. It just automatically goes down in that little hole. So I'm really, really liking it. I probably should have done a bunch the first time right off so I could show you pulling it up. There was another um, thing I saw online that people complained that it pulled their diamonds up. I have yet to experience that. I think when that's happening is that they're not getting the diamonds all the way in or they haven't got it exactly in the hole and it's resting, the diamond is resting on top of the ruler itself. I, I did not experience that at all. It came right up. <clears throat> Before I pulled it up, I did go along the um, all of the diamonds and kind of push to make sure, like this, to make sure they were all pushed down in there. And then I just went slow and I pulled it up and, and kind of watched the diamonds. And if I saw anything coming up, I just pushed on it as I was pulling the ruler up. But I really did not have it pull up not one single diamond. So I'm not sure, you know, I, there's different manufacturers of these. So maybe um, that makes a difference. I really don't know because, like I said, I, I really didn't have a problem. And um, I love how it makes your diamond painting look. Everything comes out so straight and in line. As long as you line the ruler up with the previous row, you're good to go. And just make sure that it's snug up next to the other. And if you look, I don't know if you can see it or not, this doesn't fit exactly right over top. There is a little bit of a gap here where it goes beyond the symbol. But if you start that way and keep going, then you're not gonna have an issue. It's all gonna be in line. I haven't had any of the symbols show underneath. I haven't had an issue with that. I just really have not had any problems with it at all. And I love the way it looks when you're done. And like I said, I think it goes a lot faster because you're not having to sit there and concentrate on Oops, see, I didn't get that one in there. Where exactly the placement of the um, diamond dot. So, I think it's a wise investment. I got it off of Amazon. It was like, oh, I think it was $8.98 or something like that. And it shipped really quick. I got it within uh, two days. Whoops. So, um... Not a long wait time. So I would check it out and I will put a link to it in the description if I haven't said that already uh, below. So I'm going to try, as far as uh, whips, if you're not familiar with what whip is, it's work in progress. Uh, I'm going to try to keep doing these. I don't know... If I'll do one every day or if I'll do like, you know, film it every day and then um, just put the put several together and maybe just do like a weekly recap and uh, see how that goes. If you have suggestions or preferences, um, just leave me a message below. I lost a diamond out here. And... Um, let me know how, how you like to see this done. I know there's tons of people who do these online. I've seen several of them do them in um, time lapse. Well, daggum, I can't pick up a stupid thing. I just 
think. I'm not real. This this uh, wax came with this diamond art kit, and while I like the kit, I'm not real impressed with their wax. I probably should stick this over this other part while I'm working. It's on my hand. I get it. I it it just doesn't last for me, and I really don't press that hard. But I'm just finding it just doesn't last long at all. I get through maybe, you know, 20, 30 drills, and then I've got to reload my wax. That one I did not get in there good. I'm not sure what's going on with that one, but let's take it out of there. Whoopsie. I think that one was kind of messed up. There we go. So, yeah, just not impressed. I really haven't. I bought a cheap kit on Amazon. And I love the wax that came with that. I probably should go back and use that again. I know there's a lot of different things people talk about using. And um, I might try some different waxes and see. There is a... I'm not sure. I'm thinking it's Rachel Ray. Has um, she has a YouTube channel for Diamond Dots and, or Diamond Art, and I think she did a review on different waxes. So you might want to check that out. Okay, there's my white. I just kind of leave my white over here. This has got a lot of white in it. So these large areas that I have here with all this white, this ruler made it go a lot quicker than. Um, what I thought it would. I forgot to start start my timer to kind of get an idea here about how long I want to make this. And let's see. If you can't tell, I'm working upside down. I, I, I've tried different ways, and it really doesn't matter to me if I start at the bottom or the top because I start wherever I start, and I work halfway up, and then I'll turn the canvas around and keep going on that part. Let's see, this black one is 04. I also changed up the way I'm doing my um, drills. I have this little bin that I picked up at the dollar store, and it holds, there's, like I said, it has a lot of white, so I had like seven bags of white, so they're shoved in here, and then um, an extra tray, and I went, I was putting the numbers on the outside of the box, and now I just went in and numbered them one through four, or one through however many I had, and that's how I'm using them now. I don't really need that anymore. But that's really nice. I can put everything in that one little tray and move it throughout the house if I need to. Mm, dog hair. I don't care. Here is a dart. Like I said, sometimes these go right down in there without any problems, and other times you'll hear a, a little click. I think it's mainly when they get put close to each other. I think that's what's going on, is when it's real close to other diamonds, is when you're going to hear that click. So let's see, um, my next project, this is going to take me a little while, as you can tell, but my next project is going to be the, I think it's going to be, it's either going to be another diamond art painting or it's going to be, um, one that I've ordered from Amazon that's coming in today sometime today and I'll have to see I'm hoping that it's another large one and I'm hoping it's going to be good I watched um, two different videos where somebody had done it and one was a hook can from AliExpress 
and the other was the same um, design, but it was from Amazon. So, I've already got one order from AliExpress that I'm waiting on. Not very patiently, I must say. Uh, <laughs> I think that's probably all of us, isn't it? But, um, so I decided to order it from Amazon. And hopefully it will be a good quality. It looked really good in the video. The girl was really pleased with it. So I'm hoping... Um, that mine will be the same. And I think her, her video was only a few months ago. It wasn't like a really long time ago. So, um, she was doing a whip with it and she hadn't finished it. So I didn't get to see the finished, her finished project. But I'm just really hoping I'm gonna be happy with it. Let's see what's next. Let's do P. Now, I will say this, um, that's number 10. If you work, the ruler really, I think, is only good for certain people. If you like to dump all of one color out in a tray and work all over your canvas with that one color, this is not gonna work for you. Because when you try to put it over top, like the other day, I had all of this part, or no, I didn't. I didn't have any of the white done, but I had done a little bit um, in this part throughout here already, partially done. And um, when you go to try to place the ruler on top of where you already have gems, it makes it kind of difficult. It doesn't work quite as well. So, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know that it would work well for people who work like that. I think you have to kind of know that you're going to work in these small little sections. It would have been nice to ha see them have made this wider with more rows on it. They may eventually come out with one that's like that. I did not see one that was wider. Um, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows across. And it could be that they made it this size for one or two reasons, it could be for storage. It could be um, that since it's so thin, maybe a wider one would not work as well or might break when you try to pull it up. You know, I'm really not sure because in between these circles are really tiny fine lines. So maybe they wouldn't have been able to stand the pressure if it was much wider. You know, I really don't know. But I would love to see one twice uh, this size. If the ruler maker is listening, twice this ro this amount of rows, 16 rows, would be awesome. But, you know, we'll just have to wait and see. Maybe they will. You never know. Companies, I think, are, are notorious for coming out with a product and then if you know, a year later, six months, a year later, they come out with the new improved version. And you're like, why didn't you come out with that in the first place? Because these aren't that expensive. And it would be nice to have both sizes, I guess, if you're working on a small canvas. The smaller size might be better to, to use. But, um, I don't know. We'll see. I'm curious. Do you think this is going faster than... Um, it normally would. I think it is. But anyway, um, back to the whips that I'm going to keep doing. I'll keep um, posting these until this project is finished. But I thought I might give you guys a heads up on what the next project's going to be. And then maybe some of you might want to join me. And that again is another reason why I did the Amazon thinking you know anybody who wanted to join along and work on theirs while I'm doing you know along with the whips they could and they'd be able to get it here in time 
you know, if, you, if I pick out something that comes from AliExpress, then it's going to take, you know, a month to two months to get here. And so I'm not sure. Did I get all the peas? So that's what I was kind of thinking about doing. So we'll see. But what I'll do is in the next uh, one or two of my whips for the dragons, I will um, have it figured out and decide what I'm going to do. I've got a bunch of, I'm going to be doing some more unboxings as well. I got, um, let's see, I've got, I think, one order coming from AliExpress, an order coming from Fan Sales. Seems like there's an order from another place. I can't remember where it where it was. I just kind of did some research and watched some YouTube videos and you know kind of hung out in some of the diamond painting groups, reading what people were saying, and um, so I just kind of took that information and placed a couple of. Oh, I think I got three or four orders with some different places to see what their canvases were like. And uh, I really, I, from what I'm seeing of myself so far, I'm not a person who's going to probably buy from one company specifically or all the time. Oops, I knocked a little drill out. Um, I buy for the image. So, whoever's got the image I'm wanting at the best deal, that's where I'm going to be buying at that moment. So, I may buy from one person one time and somebody else the next time. And, you know, I know that there's some people who only buy from certain places. And really, if you find, I think if you can find two or three places that you like, that um, you will um, you'll be able to get a good variety of canvases. Although there is one that I've been looking for. It's really pretty. It's stacked stacked up books, and it's kind of like in the middle of this forest. I've only seen it one place, and it's sixteen by twenty, and I don't think that is going to be big enough to get a good design or a good image. So I'm kind of searching around for that one now. Maybe I'll find it someplace. I don't even re remember now where I saw it. It might have been one that I saw on Amazon and, you know, they don't have a lot of large canvases on Amazon. There are a lot of small ones. So, and I'm not one to do like the, really, a lot of the cartoony type designs or a lot of flowery things. <clears throat> Although I did find one with a, a girl in it with a lot of flowers around her. And it's, it's kind of round, but I think it's on a square... Like round in the center and then it has a background to it. So I'm kind of curious to see how that one's going to come out with all the flowers. Keep going here until I fill this ruler up and just kind of do a fast forward here or uh, speed this up and then come back to you once I um, get the ruler part filled up. Okay, so I'm down to my last three little symbols. Hopefully the dog won't drive us nuts. Um, there's somebody delivering something across the street. You'll probably hear her whining in the background. 
she gets excited and wants to go see everybody. So there, I've got all my diamonds and before I pull it up, I just kind of go through and check and make sure I haven't missed one and run my finger over it to make sure that um, everything's pushed down. And then all you do is start lifting. If I see anything that's funny and I kind of press as I'm lifting along the edge. There you go. I did miss one little one down here. Um, but as you can see, nothing stuck to it. It didn't pull any diamonds. They didn't pop out. They're all stuck down very well. So, yeah. I love this. I think it's a really good tool. I was really pleased about it. So, um, I'm just going to keep working and I'll do a time lapse, I guess, for now um, on the next section and just keep going and I'll post these either later tonight or tomorrow and then I'll kind of try to set up a schedule for doing this. Uh, I'm not sure what day of the week would be the best, but but as you can see, it's pretty darn straight. Let me see if I can lift it up. Hopefully you can, whoops, you can see that well. And you can see how straight and nice they are. I just think it comes out really, really good. Try to get it flat there on my hand. There we go. Maybe that's a little better. And you can see. Very nice, huh? So, um, and I just think it makes it go really fast. So, I guess that's it for today. And as soon as the package arrives from Amazon, I'll do an unboxing on that and put that up later as well. And um, I I'm thinking that's going to be the next whip, but we'll see. So, thanks for watching. I hope you give this tool a try. Um, I'm very, very pleased with it. And if you're interested in the whip, it's the Diamond Art Club Yin Yang Dragons. They still have some in stock, I believe, last time I checked. But it's going to be really cool, I think. It's turning out really nice, well-defined. Uh, I'm really pleased with it. So have a great day. Keep diamond painting. Stay safe and be nice to others. Thanks for watching. Bye.